Ooh, that's cool. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Wait a sec, let me check again. That's cool logo animation. Let's make it. I hope you're having a great day. Welcome back to the brand new exciting video. If you are new here, this is Divinson here for my channel. I make videos here on YouTube about filmmaking and other VFX stuff as well. If you're into that stuff, consider subscribing and turn on the bell notification icon so you never miss a thing on my channel. So today I'm gonna make Squid Game recent trending series title animation in Adobe After Effects. I'm gonna do best as I can to make sure this is easy for you. So without any further ado, let's hope into Adobe After Effects. I'm gonna import the illustration file that I made for logo. I used the Zonic font to make this on Illustrator. I'm gonna keep as merge layers and hit OK. You can download all the fonts and all the files in the description box below. Once I import, I'm gonna drag into the little composition icon right over here. There you go, I have the logo exactly at the squid game. And then I'm gonna select the layer, right click and click on the create and create shape from the vector layer. And then I'm gonna delete the bottom layer which I imported. Select this layer and scroll down to the menu and scroll down to the content as well. Then you will find all the text individually separated. If I select the first group, it's gonna be the first text. So I'm gonna select the first group and click on the path. But first I need to get the reference. So I'm gonna grab the original logo intro from Squid Game Trailer on the Netflix. So I'm gonna drag it here and let's play the exact place when the logo appears. Okay, there you go. I have the reference now. So when it comes to the starting point, all the text is like this. I'm gonna make the same shapes and position on the text. So let's go forward and check when the start things happen. Okay, just right over here, all the text start to animate. So continuing to the progress, I'm gonna select the group on the click, select the group one, click on the path. I'm gonna hit the path key on here. And then let's zoom in a bit and hit the G key on your keyboard. Just select these two points and drag it right over here. And same as it on the original logo. Okay, just a little bit here. And then I'm gonna go a little forward on the timeline. Okay, let's play the video again. It's somewhat here. I'm gonna drag the same point right over here, just as the reference. It looks good to me. So the first text is done, let's keep moving. So the next move is text you in the logo. So I have to do little changes on it. I'm gonna select the text view and make a key on the path exact on the first text starting point. And I'm gonna select these two points and change the position as the reference. And let's go a little forward where the animation should be end. It looks somewhat here. I'm gonna drag these two points a little bit here. Let's play the animation again and check the next text. So the next animation is text i. Okay, let's select the i text on the groups and select these two points, drag slide over here since it's a slight move. Select the bottom two points and drag it a little bit over here and go a little forward on the timeline where the animation ends on the other text. And I'm gonna change the points position to match with the reference. The first line on the top almost done. I'm gonna move into the bottom line. So if I play the reference logo, the next text is text g. So I need to extend this part, end of the animation. What I'm gonna do now, select this exact group which belongs to the text G. And this time I'm gonna go in point of the animation and make the path key. And go back into the starting point and select these bad boys and drag over here. Just a little bit here. There you go. Okay, let's play the reference and see how far it match looks good to me so the next text is E I'm gonna select the exact group belongs to this part and make a path key at the end of the animation point once done I'm gonna select these points on the text and come back to the starting point let's grab these two points right over here Okay, let's play the animation and see the errors to be adjust. Oops, I have the error in text view. I'm gonna fix the animation key. I'm gonna go starting point, 
and make a key change the point position and go forward end of the animation and let's grab this point right over here there you go and now I'm gonna select the layer and hit the U key on the keyboard and select these all keyframes and make them easy ease let's play the animation okay looks good the next part is to work on the grunge effect on the text exactly as in the reference so let's get started for the first thing I'm gonna import some grungy textures you can download all these from the description box I'm gonna drag it to the composition and scale a bit and then I'm gonna add the curve effect on it once done let's adjust the curve something like this I'm gonna select this bottom layer and change the layer type to luma inverted map I'm gonna change the position of the texture until I get the best look for me this looks good for me but it depends on you once done I'm gonna make ellipse mask tool and adjust the mask feather and expansion something like this okay now it's time to make the background let's dive in I'm gonna make a new composition and name it as a background it's okay once done I'm gonna import some textures and let's add hue and saturation effect I'm gonna play a little bit on it this looks too clean I want this to be a little grungy on it I'm gonna add some textures on it and change the blending mode to add you can play with it until it looks good to you here it comes I have the best look for me once done I'm gonna make a new solid layer on it I'm gonna make an ellipse mask then I'm gonna adjust the mask feather and expansion a little bit something like this I'm gonna go back into the text comp and grab this background comp below the text layer I'm gonna scroll down the content in the text layer and turn off the background in it there you go let's make a new black solid on it then double click on the ellipse tool and it will make a mask now click on the invert then click on the F key on your keyboard and adjust the feather a little bit and let's adjust the mask expansion as well and select the G key on your keyboard and add some extra point on the mask adjust the shape of the mask I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer and apply the curve effect on it once done I'm gonna play with the curves red green and blue until I get the best look then I'm gonna make a black solid layer and go to the shape tool and select the rectangle shape and double click on it it makes the mask and then double click this mask and drag bottom and top like this and then hit the invert mask I'm gonna head over to the effect preset and find the sharpen and drag it to the adjustment layer change the sharpen value to about 10 now I'm gonna create a null object and select these last three layers and parent this to the null object I'm gonna hit the S key on the keyboard and make the scale key on the beginning and go a little forward on the timeline and increase the scale a bit then select the both keys and ease ease them I'm gonna open the graph editor and change the graph curves like this to have little smoothness in the animation let's play it okay looks cool okay guys let's play the final animation There you go, this is how I made the squid game title animation in Adobe After Effects. I hope this will be easy for you guys. So this is pretty much it guys from today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. If you did, consider subscribing and turn on the bell notification icon. I'm gonna do tutorials here and there. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, links in the description box. I'll see you guys on next one. Stay creative, peace.